Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. Today our agenda is to try and improve our place to 100% health, 100% happiness and build all the structures that we didn't have before. Like we are missing like Great Hall etc from our kingdom. I should build some defenses for this place as well because this is not too badly protected. Like the viking raids are not that huge, but I would still like to have some protection for these people here. We need a lot and a lot more people to be able to fill all of the jobs that we have. So I will destroy this woodcutter from here and cut down the trees from here and we'll build a little living area right there. The vikings are raiding, but there is only like 68. Also, we don't need the transport ships anymore, at least not like 20 of them. So I will disband these and hopefully we will get some money back. I'm not sure if the transport ships cost money over time, but just to be safe. This seems like a normal viking raid, yeah. They don't have any ogres with them and they are using the access points that we have designed for them. That's good, good, good. How's our new place doing? Mm, it's doing alright. Brought some archers to defend this place. Um, we don't even need them. Yeah. They are fine. They're destroying a lot from Yellow's place. Damn. Poor Yellow. These troops are just going back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Interesting. Good luck, Yellow. Alrighty. We need some more fruits and fish and pork into our diets, but we don't have fish because we don't have enough. Actually, at the moment we have all of the fisheries full, so that's good. But I will still build this living area here, so we will get more people in here. Actually, we don't need that much wood at the moment, so I will destroy these as well from here, and we might make this into another farming area, because we do need some more fruits into our diets, although we have 96%. I also changed our cargo ships that they will pick up some tools from here and take them all the way to our own place, because this place doesn't need that many tools and they have tons and tons of tools. Our main place has a lot of tools as well but I want to make some fishmongers actually and they will be using tools and fish to provide more fish. And what is this? <laughs> there is just random castles, there's a relic from the past. Alright, there we go, I will just spam this full. Actually, hmm, there is some space here for some swine yards, so I will build few here. There we go. Now we have five fishmongers right there. I'm not sure if that is enough, but it will help us a lot. I also expanded this a little bit. I will build a noria right here so we can fertilize this farmland over here and maybe build some orc herds right there. Yeah, there is space for two orc herds right there because when we get this ready here, we will need more food. Like, it doesn't matter that we are super close to 100% already, because it will go down, because we will get more people here. So we actually need to improve our food production as well. Our leaning tower of eagle board is still here, standing strong. And yeah, even though there is like a 2 meter gap right there... That's quite big. Impressive. I trust it will still protect us from the Vikings, etc. So I trust you. There we go. We have a place for Noria right there. And I will build some reservoirs right next to it. There. And I might actually build one over here as well. So we will get irrigation over here. I will actually take down the docks and build one moat right there. And we will have a place for our Noria here as well. Also I noticed these parks with flowers are actually getting more happiness if we have water next to them and the small trees and the other parks don't have this. So I will actually delete these and build some more flowers here so we will get maximum happiness out of that. I might build this into a flower field as well. Oh, the fountains etc get receiving irrigation plus 10 happiness. Holy shit. And these ponds, etc. are just plus 5. Alright, we have the place for the Noria ready. And build a reservoir right next to it. There we go. And also orchards right here, except we don't have a road. 
So I will just build roads there and there. Build the orchard there and copy this. There we go. Little tricky, but we got this. Okay, so this place as well. I want to protect this, so I will start building some walls around it. I just remembered if we just wall this off, the Vikings will bring ogres. So I might leave an access point right here and on the other side, maybe here. So I will have to move you mason, I'm sorry. I will build two masons right there. Build walls there. Oh, the Vikings are raiding. There are 68 Vikings, so it's not a huge raid. But they do have ogres with them. Hmm. Are these attacking us? Maybe not, because yeah, these are attacking us, these are attacking us. It's only men attacking us. The ogres are probably going to Yellow's place. Yeah, we are destroying the Vikings super easily. Okay, hello Yellow. Yes, go on. Greetings, we were thinking of you recently, and we have prepared a gift. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. That concludes our ruler's message. Farewell. Oh yeah, that reminded me of that we could make the Great Hall, except that we don't have stone for it. Okay, we will have to wait for the merchant to come and after that we can create the Great Hall. Our Norias over here already, so we can spam a little bit more of these orchids right here. How is our health doing? 100% wheat, 97% fruit and 92% fish. Fishing industry is 22 out of 100, so that is why we don't have that much fish. And after we get our place filled with people, then we should get enough fish. Like I will just start festivals and I will actually drop down the tax rate to 50%, so we will get happiness of 85. I will actually create a road over there, so I can destroy these and I will build moats here. Just in case if the vikings get here, they will be just slowed down and killed by these archers right here. Hopefully. Also did the same thing here and we will have a access point here and here and hopefully that will be enough. Oh, we actually have some places destroyed here. Technically, if they land over here, they will go for this access point. If they land over here, they will go for this. And hopefully when they land here, they will go around and go into here. If not, I might create an access point over here, but for now I will wall it off. Alright, there we go. This is starting to look like a fort now. Our people's happiness is trending to 58, and we have so little food as well. Damn, what's the problem over here? We do have all the jobs pretty much filled, so we just need to make some more food production. Oh, we just collected the farms and now we have 1000 food, but still, I will improve that a little bit. Hospitals and clinics are too crowded, that's why we are getting minus 15 to our health, okay. Um, let's build some hospitals here then. I could just create manors right next to the Chosting Arena so they would have a nice view of the tournaments. Yeah, why not? There we go. Oh damn, we almost have 100 health. 99% fish and 98% fruit. Okay, we are super close. 100 viking- oh shit. Okay, the vikings brought some ogres. Hmm. If I use the vikings might now, when they are not even all here, did I just all die? Uh, which, where are you? Vikings might. These vikings will regret ever coming here. Boom. Bye bye. Except, it didn't even kill them all. Hey. Hey, hey, what is this? I feel cheated. Hey, archers. Destroy the ogres. Actually, one group of archers, you will destroy the catapults from here. Hello, merchant. Okay, the ogres are dead and the catapult is dead. Okay, we defended the vikings. Oh, Sir Tericus is still alive. I didn't even notice him. Hello. He has a gift of a lot of tools and a lot of wood. Hmm. What does yellow actually need? He actually needs some food. Yeah, his people are starving. I will drop this gift and just get some food for him. 400 wheat and 100 apples. Make a gift. There we go. We could actually create the great hall now. And it doesn't seem to have any area of effect around it. So I will just build it right there. We have a nice space for it right there. 33 years on the Vikings might. Hopefully there will be no big attacks again by the Vikings. We have a lot of people living over here, so we could build them. Oh, congratulations. Kingdom of Eagleport is now a dignified kingdom. An immensely strong kingdom that few have achieved before you. 
You have truly demonstrated great ruling ability, sire. Thank you. But yeah, uh, we could build these guys a queen statue right there. So they will get a lot of happiness from that. Because we need to start improving our place. Our people are like 60 to 70 around there with 50% tax. We need to pump that up, up to 100%. Oh, our gift is ready. Do we have any ships left? Did I destroy all of our ships? No. Right? No. Oh, there we go. We had one ship right there. We bought some stone from the merchants so we could place some more statues. Gargoyla. Stares at you with menacing eyes. Okay, that is perfect for our wall of fire right here. There we go. Let's just put it on both sides. Nice. That looks menacing. I missed you, wall of fire. Request audience. Thank you so much for your help. These Vikings are a menace, but our people are safe thanks to your help. Glad to be of service. What shall we speak of? I have a gift for you. A gift for me? Oh, thank you. You are very generous. That's it. Farewell. Hopefully his people will not starve now. Like, he has a lot of people starving, but... Okay, yeah, there is a lot of red ones as well. Damn. But yeah, there is so much food going around now. You're welcome, yellow. Dragons have been sighted and the big dragon came to give us his meat. Thank you. A diplomat arrived. Hello, yellow. We have a message from our ruler. Oh! We have the Great Hall ready, so we have an option. Yes, but first, a feast at our Great Hall. That sounds wonderful. What's on the menu? If I remember correctly, Lashier liked fish, maybe, and Mathan liked bread, right? So we have bread and breadsticks. <laughs> we have bread. Wow, this is my favorite. Okay, let's go. That was delicious. Now, on to business. Could you send us more resources on your merchant ship? Sure. Which ones? We need iron. Okay, I will send you some. No worries. We need to bump up the happiness by quite a lot. The statues have a range effect on them, so I want these to be quite centralized. I might take down this building right here, and I will build the Lord Levi statue right there, and I will decorate it a bit. We have quite a lot of stone. A dragon should appreciate this statue. The sculptor. If I would build it on top of this building, it would pretty much bring happiness to all of our luxurious district here. So yeah, sorry people, but there are enough houses, so I'm not making my people homeless. That's good at least. There we go. The dragon statue looks cool though. Caverns are too crowded, try building more. Okay, well I can build some more, so no worries dudes. Oh yeah, the vikings made a big hole over here. I will fix that. And we will get our Noria back and running. I didn't even notice that. Done. Our people are at 71 happiness without any parties, so that's pretty good. And the Levi statue is ready. And it actually goes up. 77. That is really nice. I decorated a little bit. And that looks nice. I really do enjoy the parks. Like, that DLC was really worth it, <laughs> not gonna lie. This place is just vibing. We could improve them as well. But yeah, they have minus 20 from long-term trauma still. I wonder how many years that actually lasts, or if that's forever. Vikings are invading 71 ships. This seems like a small raid. But there are some ogres. Are you coming to our place? No, it seems like they're going to yellows. Yeah, these guys are attacking us. And yeah, they have no ogres with them. Just a normal raid. Well, that's good. How is our new place doing? Pretty well. They just landed here and they pretty much all died. And these guys are actually... Oh, they were going this way. Hmm, they were not going for the access point. I think they wanted to just kidnap some people and run away. This access point is working wonderfully. I love the wall of fire. I missed you. Oh, our people are at 100% happiness. Granted, a lot of it is just because of killing Vikings, but we do have health 99 as well. There is a lot of buildings right next to this wall, so I might build some statues on top of that. We have a nice lion statue. What else do we have? A regal lady. <laughs> there we go. And a knight statue. Actually, there is space for two. I could make the mounted knight. There we go. Alright. Now we have statues there and they will buff 
these houses right next to them. So that is really nice. Okay, so what do we need? We need some more fish and fruits. <laughs> you can just hear these statues getting ready in the distance. And I will boost these guys' happiness with some more gardens. Alrighty, our kingdom is starting to look pretty damn nice. I really like this one. Like this just looks so cool with the flags and gardens around it. Also, we have the dragon one ready. That's sick as well. Yeah, Dragon is the reaper of this world. Also, hello, yellow. We have a message from our ruler. They are already very favorable, so I will save our food. Yes, go on. We talked about this before, but... It would be a great honor if you would take over for me and rule over my kingdom. We turned him down last time, but this time the honor is mine. I accept. My kingdom is yours. It's been a pleasure. You too, old friend. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. Okay, so now we have all of the islands in our control. Let's see how Yellow is doing. Yellow is starving. Okay, this is not good. It does have a lot of food production, but not enough. What the fuck is going on with the Norias? Huh, I'm not too sure if this is big brain or what's happening over here. This seems a little excessive. Like he just has aqueducts going nowhere. But I will actually leave this one here. I will chop down these trees. This place doesn't need that much wood. So I will make a reservoir right here and start building some farms for him. I built a farm over here and a little farm over here. Hopefully that will help out a little bit. Oh, peasants are recently homeless. Oh yeah, he doesn't even have enough space for his people. Bathhouses are too crowded. Food sorties, taverns are too crowded. Like, I understand why he wanted to retire. Holy shit. He didn't want to take any responsibility for his people. Hmm. Okay. Well, his place might be fucked. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, some buildings just decayed. Oh, nice. Now our ponds and the reflective pool are actually irrigated because we built the reservoir right there. That's nice. I built these two knights here. They remind me of the Lord of the Rings where they have the two big statues. And I think some civilization had actually built like two of these statues, huge statues protecting their place. But I don't remember which place that was. Athena, maybe? I cannot remember which civilization that was, but it looked cool when it was still up. I have built every statue except the gnome. Who are the gnome people? Are these the gnome people? No. Are these the gnome people? Yeah. These people seem like the gnome people. Let's build some gnome statues for them. Nice, perfect. Tihi, I like to be in the garden. Well, that means that we have to build some gnomes on the garden block as well. <laughs> I love the statue finishing sound. Oh shit, there is one year till the Vikings come. I didn't notice that. I started building a fishing hut right here. So hopefully the Vikings won't attack right there. They shouldn't, because yeah, every place is blocked to the keep from here. So hopefully they just play nice. It seems like they're just doing what we expect them to do. Except there are some ogres. Those are probably going to yellows again. Hopefully. How is our new place doing? What are the archers doing? <laughs> they just want to run. Okay, well you guys can go here and destroy Okay, never mind. The get bull is dead. Yeah, Yellow's place is not ready for Vikings. Like, Yellow's place might be doomed, <laughs> but at least they're not starving anymore. So I did do something good for them, at least. Our kingdom is pretty much at 100 happiness, almost 100 health, almost, pretty close, and yeah. Like everything is just perfect here. Also, we created all of the buildings and public feasts. Did we do a feast? Great feast begins to celebrate the hard work of the peasants. Nice. Okay. So we have a feast going on. We have all of the great buildings, etc. build, and everything is pretty much up to max in our main kingdom. So there we have it, the grand finale of kingdoms and castles. In the future, I am down to play the survival mode of this game. 
but for now this is the end of this series. I wanted to revisit the game as a 100 subscribers special, but we already hit that two days ago. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking the videos and supporting in the comments. I really appreciate every single one of you and I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey that we have had together and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!